Mr. Joe is the only reason that I am here now. And I don't want you to ever forget that. I won't. Thank God, you're both safe. Then it's over. Yeah, well, we're not sure about that. Someone may have seen us or recognized me, so... Yeah, we still have to be careful. Watch out for each other. At least for the, uh, next 60 years, huh? What do you mean? Get back together again, John. Uh, I finally got my head together tonight. Now, I know I've said that a million times, and I'll probably say it a million times again, but... Mitch dying, gone just like that, made one thing very clear to me. There are no guarantees, no sure things. All Joe and I have is here and now. So we better go with what we feel, with what we believe. We love each other. And maybe we could make it without each other, but it hasn't worked yet. We put more energy into trying to stay apart, and that's not where we want to be. Whatever stupid... Seven things we've done in the past, we'll probably do all over again. But no matter how much we drive each other up the wall, we know it's because we love each other so much. And what's important is that we stay together in the marriage and keep trying. What's important is staying alive. Yeah, well, we intend to do that, too. Ryan. Uh, hello, Maeve. It's Roger. Is, uh, Johnny there, please? Yes, he is, but he's involved just now. Uh, could I take a message? No, I'm, I'm sorry, Maeve, but I have to speak to him now. Oh, well, just a moment. It's Roger. Just what is it, Roger? What? Some kind of flash fire. There was a cart with some building materials on it, a can of paint remover ignited. Pat must have been standing next to it when it happened. He ended up underneath the cart. Oh, no. Was he burned? I don't think so. They got to him before the fire did. However, he was badly injured. He's in intensive care right now. Critical condition. How, how critical? What are they saying about him? Well, a nurse came out while I was down there. She, uh, she wasn't able to give me much information. She'd been instructed not to make any comment until the family was notified. She was crying. Then that means he's dead? Ray? Ray, hey, come on. Here, I, sit down. Sit I... down. Put your head down to your knees. I'll see if I can find some smelling salts. No. No. I'm going to be just fine. Are you sure? Just give me a minute. Oh. Now, I really should have insisted that you went home. There's absolutely no point in your getting involved in, in Pat Ryan's troubles after everything else you've been through tonight. Darling, I have something to tell you. It's Kirk? going to be very... Oh, George. Oh, Mrs. Woodard. I ought to be alone if I'm intruding. No, no, Ray knows all about this, yeah, will you? It's a case of easier done than said, I'm sure. Is that the tape? I feel better. All that worry over nothing, hmm? All that for nothing. If Finelli didn't have a chance to play it. He didn't have time. And, uh, two minutes after he got home, he walked out the door and went downstairs to pick up his daughter at a neighbor's. Our people were waiting on the stairs. They were going to follow him into the apartment and uh, use a little force. But he saved them that trouble. He just went in and helped themselves. Now, that was on his desk. They picked up a radio and a calculator, messed the place up a bit to make it look like a minor burglary. Couldn't have been neater or sweeter. Still, he was in the apartment alone for that first couple of minutes. Hey, Kirk, he didn't listen to it. Now, our boys were smart enough to uh, check the tape deck. There was a half-finished cassette in there. Now, obviously, he wouldn't have had time to rewind it and insert that one. No. No, that's true. In that case, we're home free. Hmm? May I ask just what is on that tape? Rubbish. Certainly nothing that you are concerned. Sorry. No. I'm the one who's sorry. Look, you, uh, you thank your men for coming through for me. And thank you for doing an A1 job, as usual. Well, I'll be at the office in the morning. As usual. 
I'll check with you there, as usual. Good night. Yes, sir. Why aren't there more Georges in the world? They ask so few questions, and they do so much. That's why they say let George do it, hmm? Are we safe now? We're safer. What if Amanda remembers? No, she might not. And even if she does, I think I can persuade her to not say anything. Cats, you know, good will come of. As for Pat Ryan, a hard cold fact. Looks like he's going to carry our little secret to the grave. Medically, at this point, there's nothing we can do besides make sure that he's stabilized. The cardiogram is normal. He's breathing on his own. And on the other side? It's an internal injury. We won't know the extent until we see the results of the x-rays and the CAT scan. I wish I could tell you how it's going to go or that the situation is better than it really is. It's bad. It's critical. John, I want you to call Francis. I want him to come home. 